Allied Machine and Engineering Corporation presents their guidelines for the rotary coolant adapter setup. A rotary coolant adapter, or RCA, allows for a flood coolant system to be plumbed into the holder, directing the coolant to the cutting edge. This is beneficial for machines that are not through spindle capable and will improve drilling performance. The following setup instructions and guidelines apply to all AMEC holders equipped with an RCA seat. The first part of the RCA setup process is installing the O-rings. All RCAs will come unassembled and will include an adapter, two O-rings, two thrust washers, and two retaining rings. Prior to the assembly, the O-rings should have a lubricant applied to them such as a cutting fluid, petroleum jelly, or other compatible lubricant. Next, you will want to install the O-rings on the interior grooves of the adapter. This will create a proper seal to contain coolant. Step 2. After the O-rings are installed, assemble the RCA adapter to the holder. Adapters will only seat on holders that match the seat size. Always make sure you have the proper RCA adapter size for your holder. Step 3. Attach thrust washers and retaining rings. Slide one thrust washer onto each side of the RCA adapter. Next, using a pair of snap ring pliers, you will put one snap ring onto each side. This will ensure the RCA adapter will not move along the axis of the holder. Proper grooves are located on the RCA seat for snap ring placement. Step 4. Insert stud in blind hole on RCA. A threaded blind hole is located on the outer diameter of the RCA adapter for assembling a stud. This stud can also be considered a driving rod and is usually a long cap screw or piece of all thread. The thread size of this hole can be found in the Allied catalog. Warning: The RCA adapter cannot be operated without having a stud assembled. Failure to do so can cause serious injury. Step 5. Mount positive stop to spindle. This step is critical. This positive stop can be accomplished by attaching a bolt or other type of rigid fixture to the spindle housing. This will create a stopping point for the stud that was assembled to the RCA adapter in step 4. Warning: The RCA adapter cannot be operated without having a positive stop to prohibit the RCA adapter from rotating with the tool. Failure to do so can cause serious injury. Step 6. Load the tool in the spindle and connect coolant. The coolant will need to be connected to the RCA adapter through the threaded port that is located on the outer diameter. The coolant line is usually plumbed from the machine's flood coolant system. Step 7. Safety check. After you have assembled the RCA adapter onto the holder, installed a stud or driving rod, mounted a positive stop to the spindle housing, and plumbed coolant to the RCA's adapter you will want to do a safety check on your setup. Ensure the spindle is off by applying the emergency stop on the machine. Then, manually rotate the tool to make sure the stud or drive rod hits the positive stop and prevents further rotating of the RCA adapter. As you can see, the stud in this example is a long cap screw and has been pushed against the positive stop that was fixtured to the spindle housing. The flood coolant enters into the RCA adapter, which induces coolant through the drilling holder. Step 8. When running the tool, Allied has limitations for spindle speed and coolant pressure to prevent RCA adapter damage. In this example, we used a holder with a 3SR RCA adapter. Therefore, the maximum RPM is 2,500. For all RCA adapters, the maximum recommended coolant pressure is 600 PSI, equivalent to 42 bar. This maximum pressure is based upon water or oil-based coolants. See the Allied Drilling Products catalog for a copy of the RCA assembly diagram, as shown here. 
Allied is warning that RCA rotation during drilling can cause hose and or fitting failure, machine damage, and or serious injury. To prevent, use RCA with positive stop studs when drilling. Factory technical assistance is also available for your specific applications.